Uh, we are. Testing. Summertime one. <laughs> we played a show up in Gravenhurst. And, and she, she heard about it. Told us about this show and got Brought us, us out. Yeah. And, yeah. Just getting to play. Like, yeah. That's the best part. It's about having fun. I like to play, so. The more fans you, you get, thing. that's we're how you get out there. For gas money right now. We're yeah. Just getting around. Yeah. Play, play as many shows, shows as you can, and whether you're getting paid or not. All just all that exposure. Exactly. We'll drive anywhere. We'll play anywhere. It's we just want to get our art out. Thank you. Yeah. Good to be here. Well, you wake up in the morning. Yeah, same old thing. There ain't no food upon the table. I'm wondering. Let that midnight special shine that on me. Let the midnight special. Come on, girl, do some dancing. First time ever out, eh? These two guys offered me and Waxy a gig, and they said, we're 12 and 16, why do you two guys come with us? I says, well, why not? <laughs> now, we've been uh, blessed about uh, making music for decades now, and uh, I got to play with Ronnie for years, and, and Robin, and uh, uh, Ronnie's been great with the young lads, helping uh, Levi and Brody and us out, and uh, so it's been great. Well, I mean, uh, we've had some fun. They're, they're from the Ottawa Valley, and I think it's just a gift that God gave me and uh, gives you. And if you can help pass it on to somebody, it's uh, it's well worth it. Yeah, baby, yeah. One time. Ha! My name's Jessica Ross. Uh, I met Robin, coincidentally. I was outside the Y and I decided not to work out that day. I took my brother to swimming lessons and played ukulele outside and he had heard me and decided to get his manager to come and talk to me and no more. And I came here. <laughs> I still get nerves, a little bit. I try and focus my energy, make sure I use it towards something good. I had a car wreck when I was 16. I like, I flipped it and it's like, and I was so lucky and I was very thankful. And after that happened though, that's when my dad gave me, that's, uh, that's where I am now. It's because of my dad, my dad said, what are you doing? You're doing nothing, right? Well, school wasn't working for you. <laughs> school didn't work. You better go on the road, do something. You're doing nothing, road. right? Well. So I went on and I stopped playing guitar with him and his bands. I stopped playing guitar. <laughs>
I'm uh, the lead singer and uh, songwriter of High Waters Man. You know, I, I think uh, it, it's the spots where you see an absolutely full bar and you look uh, in front of you and everybody's singing the same song. So uh, I think probably a couple moments, maybe just in the Montreal or St. Peterborough, that's uh, been pretty priceless. Well, you know, uh, I think it's changed a lot in the last uh, bunch of years. Uh, I think for me, it's probably changed in a different, uh, different light. I, like I said, I think I enjoy it more than ever. Uh, uh, I think it's tougher to make money at it and uh, I'm not sure, uh, uh, well I, I own a hydroponic store and uh, have a successful business too so I would tell you that it's much more fun uh, when it's just fun uh, for me. Uh, but I, I will say uh, I went to, to school with two fellas that are now uh, extremely wealthy from displaying so uh, maybe uh, you know if you've got the heart and soul for it and that's what you want to do, uh, you stick with it because it might take you 20 years. <laughs>but music is that you have to love it you have to you have to love it when you got this passion and you feel for it and it doesn't matter what and what style you do when you feel for it screw everybody else what they say <laughs> when you get that adrenaline to go and do that it's exciting man that's what life's about it's really it's exciting no matter how old you are man you, no matter what you do playing chess it doesn't matter man it's like it's all about being inspired.